Hey, Martin, uh, if you're presenting, I think you're muted. <laughs> So no one's holding anything I've said this whole time. This is no, really sorry. great. Literally, great. I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you were talking. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, um, this has been great. I don't. Jeez. Whatever. Uh, all right. We need. We need a scribe. Um. And let me put a link to the minutes in here. I already done that in the. Uh, in the Google, Google Meet chat. Yeah. Thank you. So while we're waiting for a scribe, um, why do I have no messages in here? Oh, you didn't pin it. Can you pin it? Uh, OK. Uh, it, will someone um, put the uh, work, the sign and log thing? So, okay. That's what we're looking for. OK. All right, if you've not yet signed the minutes, please go there and do so. Thank you, Magnus, for putting in the the, the, um, the link. Uh, we need a scribe, and as I mentioned the other day, um, it's actually like a, a a bad feature to like record verbatim everything. We have a recording. Uh, this is going to be posted on YouTube, and um, uh, like a really useful summary of what was decided in the meeting is actually what we're looking for here. So, do we have a volunteer to scribe today? Yeah, so you can take inspiration for what I posted last uh, last week for I think what approximately what we are asking for when it comes to taking minutes. Really the high level. Or I well, I could do it also in this case, so we don't waste more time. Um let's That would be awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Magnus. All right. Now, with that, I think we're going to stop presenting. Um, OK, so uh, I guess first on, this is a little bit uncomfortable because this is my subject. So Magnus, I don't. please feel free to, to run this as much as you want to run, run it. But I have the PR up for fit and reset that we discussed last week. Do you want to drive on this, Ian? Um, I don't know if you have like sure. some yeah, things. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to. I mean, I, it, uh, I, I will present. And I had it open. Um, I made a ton of editorial comments. Great. I um, mean, like, I, I've written it. Like, I'm at this point, I'm curious what you and anyone else thinks needs to happen so, to commit it rather than having like particular things I want to address. So why don't you share and um, talk about what you want to talk about? Sure. Uh, hold on just one second. I need to find. Actually, um, so I'm not sure how many people have looked at the PR. Uh, I'm going to start with something that is tangential to the PR, but makes the PR kind of hold up. And without it, like, it's a little bit difficult to make the, the PR work out, which is um, that the idea that subscribes end at a group boundary and not at an object. Um, so this, without this, I don't think Martin's PR is possible. Like, I don't think, because it, it just creates too many edge cases, or at least I don't know how to reason about what the edge cases would be. Um, but also, it's a little weird to say, like, I want to stop at object four in the future um, when you don't even know how many objects are going to be in the group. I mean, I get that some applications have very well-defined formats, but still, it's a little weird to even ask for that. So um, the suggestion is to simplify things and just remove the end object from subscribe specifically. This does not affect fetch, to be clear. Okay. Uh, Martin. I do think it's possible to do the other PR without this. It's just a little uglier. To, like they're just like you said, there are edge cases where you cannot fit and you have to like go you you have to go do a, a the, the case is you're answering someone else's subscription that goes beyond your subscription for some reasons. So you kind of have to wait until that part is resolved before you can move forward. Um, it's just it's a little grosser, but um, I does like I, as I said last week. I don't know that this actually impinges on anyone's use case, at least that I've heard. So 
I think group boundaries are good and like a general sweep through the spec to like figure out where we could get rid of object granularity would be would be great. But uh, this is a good first step. Yep. So um, yeah, but again, this does not affect fetch. So this is actually a case where like separating the two, I think gives us a reasonable and like actually functionally useful flexibility because I think having the object there in fetch makes a ton of sense because it's a thing that has already occurred and you know like how many objects are in the group and things like that. Um, but subscribing to like an ed end object at some point in the future when you don't even know if that group will ever be produced is weird. So um, anyway, does anyone have objection to this? Because um, this makes Martin's proposal a lot simpler to reason about. All right. Um, I will assume people will look at the PR, but uh, let's proceed under the assumption that this is a thing we are likely to do, and Martin, it's okay for Martin's proposal to depend on it, at least for the moment. Um, yeah. So the moral story of Martin's proposal is a thin means that the subgroup has ended. Um, and if for some reason you need to close the stream, but you have not sent the entire subgroup, don't send a thin. Um, I think that would be my like TLDR kind of summary. Um, there's a bit more text here, obviously, about like um, you know some edge cases and things, and like this text about whether you should use reset stream or reset stream at. Um, reset stream at is not required, but maybe an optimization for some use cases. Um, uh, Victor, yes. Uh, in this proposal, how do I know that the subgroup has ended if I'm fetching it instead of uh, subscribing to it? This does not uh, affect fetch. This is only for um, subgroups in subscriptions. Uh, for fetch, though, we actually have a subgroup ID, and like all objects need to be in order. And so you can figure out what the subgroups are because like the group ID will increment, but but we haven't gotten there yet. So yeah, there so so there works? so so there's an issue. Uh, there's a different issue. Like, is it possible to s retrieve something via fetch and then serve it via subscribe? Because like by the very literal concept that like one is the future, one is the past, that should be impossible. Um, it's not an issue if if it is in fact impossible, and we can argue that out later. But I mean, in general. If you've got a fetch, um, there's like one edge case when you're it, when you your fetch like in the group where it ends. If you end mid group, where you have some ambiguity on whether you can close streams. Uh, I mean, I, I said like like everything else. Everything depends on everything else. But that's that's really the only problem you would have here. Go, cool. on. Well, I, I was just going to say. Uh, I, I might have heard that wrong, Martin, but it seems to me that the predominant use case is exactly the opposite of what you said. If I'm subscribed and a caching relay cached it, and then later somebody got it from the caching relay using a fetch. Yes, that, that that's correct, but that's trivial because uh, you only have one fin in a fetch, right? It's the end of the fetch. So when you hit the last object, you send the fin. And right. everything's set in order. Sure, but I mean, the question that started this was if something happened upstream with the with the subscribe. Um, I, I guess I have one other question too that sort of just like is an uh, like context. I don't know enough about what's happening in Quick, and I imagine there's somebody on the call that needs this. So there's this Quick, I, I, like there's this stuff where you can basically uh, send a reset, but say please send the, send a certain amount of the data I've already sent first. Like yeah, that's like reset stream at thing. Okay, yeah. reset is that highly likely to end up in the quick standard and end up in most quick stacks or is that something that's still like some people might do it and some people might it's, not i believe at least in the current proposal it is required by web transport which means it's probably going to end up in okay the vast majority of quick stacks that are relevant to moq okay right because oh, so i mean if that's so given that it makes me i'm um, that makes me far more willing to be like oh well uh that that you know, we can use reset to indicate like 
uh, I've sent you a bunch of data and I don't know whether it's the end of the group or not, but for whatever reason, I decided I need to end this stream. So I'm going to send you, the, you know, I, I'm going to send you a reset, but I still want you to get all the data that I've already sent you. Um, so, I, I mean, that makes me more keen on this, if that's going to be widely supported. But if reset, if there's no way to do that, then then it seems like we're just doing some pretty bad liar violations for not much gain. Um, I think Martin, are you, do you still have your hand up? For... Oh, sorry. Okay, that's good. Okay. okay. Um, Martin, are there any questions? Like, I, I am largely fine with this PRMS, some editorial uh, nits, which I think are mostly addressed at this point. Um, Martin, do you have any questions about this PR before you? We feel comfortable to land it. I, I'm not aware of any. Well, I, I'm I'm going to I'm going to completely. So, like as an author, I have no particular concerns about landing it. As a chair, I'm not going to touch whether or not we land. This is if we're sure, the, I, will, <laughs> I will be the person merging it, and I will do whatever final editorial cleanups. I yeah. just didn't know if there's any questions you had for the group while you. Um, well, like I mean, there were some to dos. I, like I, I'm. One was the subscribe thing, which you already did in a PR, and the other one was like end of object markers. I'm sorry, end of subgroup objects, uh, and whether those make sense anymore. Um, I, I think there's. I wrote a PR to get rid of them because we don't even talk about what to do with them. So I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they were put in because there was until this PR, there was no, there was. No, I put them in the peep PR because there's no way to figure out the end of a peep. Uh, until this thing came up, um, Alan. Sorry, I hit that a little bit sooner than I wanted to. It wasn't on the end of subgroup topic, but a different topic. So, um, if you wanted to finish your thought, yeah. Um, like I, I think we would probably be okay to get rid of them, but I wouldn't. I'm not in a huge hurry. To, it, it seemed annoying to me that if we have like gazillions of end of subgroup messages, those would objects and they would be delivered in a fetch, like by the way we've written things, which seems like super duper wasteful um, and unnecessary now that we have this. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't, I'm not like desperate to do it immediately. And if we want to have some implementation experience before we murder end of subgroup, I think that would be fine. I'm going to go back to the fact that the draft doesn't mention what to do with them. So <laughs> removing them is not a problem. All right. I mean, that's fine too. I'm not. Funny I'm not. I mean, okay. I, I'm just saying like, if, if, if nothing in the draft says like, this is how you, what you do with this thing in general, I'm like murder it. Like, sorry. Like you got to tell me what to do with it. But, well, I mean, I think it was an implied way to like, that's when you can fit in the stream. Right. Um, but, um, uh, on. Uh, I'll let you go. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess on that topic, like I did implement end of subgroups and the chat draft does require them because it doesn't have this. But like, I think with this, it's probably fine, but I'm also not necessarily in a hurry. This is, you know, as an individual to get like, if, if they last for another week or two I'll, or people go to implement, they're like, yeah, we don't need these for sure. Like I, it doesn't matter. I think I would like to get some experience with what's here um, as well. Um, the high level question, I, since I came in late, I don't know. There was a question in here that keeps coming up, and I don't know if it's totally relevant to this PR or otherwise, but it's about can a relay remove objects in the middle of a subgroup? And I asked the question, like, there's something, there's some text in here that implies the answer is no. I asked, do we have alignment? And Ian and Martin both said, yes, absolutely. Like, the group is totally aligned here, but I referenced the discussion in another issue where I don't think that's the case. So, um, the group needs to like come to a yes or no on that question um, at some point. Hey, I thought there was even normative text that said that already. There is normative text that says it. Okay. And every, but I keep seeing PRs and issues where people say, and then the relay will take the object out of the middle of the subgroup and, or skip over it because it, of X, Y, or Z reason. And then I'm like, but there's normative text that says you can't do that. And then, so I, I wanted, just like I mean, I agree we have to come to this, but like I don't know what you think priorities or timeouts do if they don't do that. <laughs> so, I, I, so my understanding of it is if a subgroup if 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 a subgroup times out, the whole subgroup times out, and the tail of the subgroup times out, not the objects in the middle, is would be my interpretation of what they do. And if you want to time out individual objects, then you would put individual objects on subgroups. 
I mean, that's not what the timeout text says. So I mean, and that's not I mean, that's never been discussed before. So I mean, I guess it's a sort of fascinating thing of like how that's going to work if you have hundred millisecond timeouts and a group that lost two seconds long, right? Um, I mean, it's very clear the text. It's it's the timeout starts at the beginning of the reception of the object. Well, subgroups are supposed to indicate dependency, right? Among other things. So if it, it like. Let's ignore subgroups for a second. That complicates. Well, let's just say we only have about. Subgroups. That's what we're talking about. Subgroups. That's also, well, maybe that's the point of the confusion then, right? Okay. I mean, so uh, let's 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 start with a really really basic case where we seem to have disagreement. Obviously, we had two subgroups: one with even objects and one with odd objects. You could be missing a bunch of the odd objects and only have the even all the even group, right? That would happen all the time if there was a bandwidth constraint. Yes. yes. No. Okay. Yes. All on the same page. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So we definitely agree right there then that there can be ob gaps in the object sequence. It's not about gaps in objects, Colin. It's about ah, it's about a in, within a subgroup which is mapped to a single quick stream. Okay. Is a relay. A le so, like for example, and I think I don't know if you scroll down in this PR, there's a link I put into a discussion, and I forget which PR it was on, but it was talking about how do relays queue things, and sort of Suhas had a proposal where. Relays will make a giant queue of objects, and then when there's sea wind and flow control available, they will grab objects out of this queue, sure. and therefore objects can also time out of this queue, independent of the subgroup they are on. So that's one relay design. Another relay design is like when object when the begin when an object starts to arrive, I stick it on the streams it needs to go on, but if those streams don't make it out the door by the timeout, then I I have to time out the entire stream because I can't unput that object on the stream. D am, am I making sense in what we're talking about the the difference here? Uh, like yeah, but okay. I mean that's like, um, I mean, I I I don't know that that's a a really, you know, that means if you have uh. I mean, yeah, okay, fair, fair enough. I understand those two different use cases. So those, I mean, it's yeah. it's really two different relay designs. And if you scroll down yeah. in this, I was trying to ask this question, like there's not normative text that says a relay designer has to build one way or the other right now. No, oh, clearly, clearly, right. And we've tried to keep it so both are valid implementations, right? Okay, well, but okay. I, well, I'm concerned that that's gonna create an interop problem where yeah. some application is gonna expect, for example, the queue of objects and timing out objects in the middle of a stream is going to happen in order to keep the the contents of the stream more timely, but they're going to be running against a relay that's like, I put the stuff on the stream as soon as I get it, and I time out the tail of the stream if the if the if the if the if something uh, timing I mean, out. I I think that the the spec doesn't. I mean this. So keep in mind that there's the issues you can't deal with ever. Like the the specs already like it's already, but the UDP packet has sent been sent down to the kernel, but it's sitting in the kernel UDP queue or in the queue of the first router. And there's all kinds of things that can happen on that. That's just a quality of implementation issue that you can't make assumptions about as an application. Okay. The the specific question I want to know is that like, let's say I have a subgroup and it has five objects on it. Right. Does a relay have to send you all five objects on that if it sends you that stream it has to send you all five objects or it's allowed to skip over some if it wants to in, within a subgroup that's the question i want the group to answer so, and i hear too i hear multiple answers from the group so alan so the first thing you said where like it's just drawing off objects and then like skipping over objects in the middle of subgroup like relays cannot do that because the when the original publisher puts them in a in a subgroup and saying there's a dependency here so if you drop object three object five is useless so do not send five without sending three that's like the whole point of the quick stream I would yeah agree. and alan i think my, i agree with that my pr says the one thing that you can assume is that the things inside of and it's not that the relay has to send them it's that if it sends any of them they will be sent in order and it is not that they won't have gaps they will have gaps it is that they will be sent in order if okay. they're sent at all can I clarify what you mean by gap there? I don't necessarily mean gap. You mean well, I think this has been a point of made five I, I, can, I consider a gap as like object the you get object in, and then the next thing is not object in plus one. That's a gap. Okay. Yeah, I think I mean something different, which is yeah. that the original publisher made objects one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna get one, two, three, four, five. 
not one, no, two, four, you're, five. You're, you're going to, if you get one, two, three, four, five, you will get them in order. Not you're going to get them. If you get them, you will get them in order. Those are two very different statements. Right. Okay. I think this wait, is. Wait, wait, so <laughs> hold on. I, I think I want to just clarify my example and then you guys can go around again. Yep. So um, this is exact. So if the original publisher created a subgroup and put objects one, two, three, four, five on it, and those arrive mm -hmm. at a relay. So there's one universe in which the guarantee is that, like, if that relay opens a stream, it's going to send you one and then two and then three and then four and then five. And if it at any point times out, it's going to truncate the tail. And that is like normative behavior of a relay. Or there's a behavior where like the relay is allowed to time out objects in the middle of that stream and you may get one and that's it. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not arguing. As long as they're ordered. And right. is, does anybody I, want not to arguing argue? you're going to get one, two, miss three, and then get four or five when the original thing was said that, right? Like that's why I said you'll get them in order if they're sent at all. Um, but there's no guarantee there will ever be enough bandwidth for you to ever receive any of those, right? Yeah, what I mean is yeah. if you, I, I feel like one, two, three is legal. One, two, four is not exactly. Okay. So then I think we're saying the same thing, but it, then your PR reads very differently to me. So, um, okay. Maybe oh. I mean, so maybe, and I think, so let, let's hit some things where I think we had terminology differences. Gaps might be one of them, right? I mean, all I was trying to argue in that PR was that object IDs do not necessarily go up by one. <laughs> Right. I'm not trying to yeah. say that they do. Yeah, and I, I think we agree on that, right? We agree. Okay. Yeah. If if you put it on that essentially that like the if the original sender sent them on one peep, <laughs> I'm gonna use that word. I, I can't believe it. If if it's in on one subgroup, um, like relays are not allowed to when they send a subgroup down, they're not allowed to reorder it. Okay, yeah. And if you scroll right. up in this thing, there's like a quote of the text from the exhibit that says like a relay cannot reorder or omit objects in a multi-object stream. Okay, I don't think that text is implementable. I've always disagreed with that text. I don't think there was ever consensus on that text, but that's a separate sort of thing. Like we should probably need to fix up that thing. Okay, but and where I think it's problems is when the relay got it through two streams upstream due to a failure of one of the streams. Ah, uh, okay. Right, I, so I think there's some corner cases we need to be careful with, but I think on a given stream, you and I totally agree. Okay, and yeah. the text is meant to capture, I think, what you think is okay. Right. Um, and we can definitely, I think... I'd and I think it's okay in the base case. It's just not okay in the failure cases is, is, is where I have grief with it. Okay. Yeah. Um, we, I think we could do... Anyway, we should go back around and let other people talk, but I feel like right. this is been good. I think Daniel's been in the queue for a bit, but... Like, yeah, I think the discussion is more or less resolved what I was going to say. I was just going to comment that I think when we were talking about fetch, we, like came to the conclusion that subscribe and everything needs to handle like consistent delivery and like everyone was on board with that. So I think if we did allow the relay to drop objects in the middle, that would cause problems with some of our earlier assumptions. But I think the discussion has moved past that. We're all in agreement. Okay. That's awesome. Um, but it does sound like we need some so Alan, Alan, will you take an action item to work with me to clarify my PR so it says what we're both just saying here? Can help me with that. Uh, yeah, I'll, take an, I'll take another pass on on this one. I mean, I think I'm also, yeah, I I I, I will like. Okay. I mean, I think the there at least the, as we have written down in the draft, it says neither object ID nor group ID need to be incremented by one at the original publisher, and therefore receivers need to be able to understand that that can happen. I think is what the crux of your PR is trying to say. Well, right. I'm trying to explain why this might happen too, because there just seems to be so much confusion around it. And yeah, and so I and I and I think that look, maybe I was at the same time not explaining the confusion of like what Martin just summarized as well, one, two, three is legal, but one, two, four is not legal on the same stream. Um uh, so maybe we can get both of those into the PR. Yes. Okay. Uh yeah, I I can try to um well, yeah, I'll give you some feedback. Thanks. So just to summarize this, this is related to PR565, is it? The, the, the main PR is 589, um, the, yeah, one that, the one that Colin is talking about. Colin's PR is, is five. The one he requested yes. help on is 565. Yeah. And my summary of this is, OK, Colin requested Alan to help clarify it. I. I'm uncertain what to actually record here around the discussion, but it seems uh, that we're, I mean, people seem to be 
in this community agreeing on that, but in a subgroup, the intention is to deliver everything. Okay, and then you have some failure cases, which I assume is mostly bad with datagram delivery, but in a reliable stream, that you shouldn't just disappear. I think it's five six five, but it's also it's five eight seven is the one I'm actually asking Alan for okay. help on okay. he had comments on that. But it's it, this is, yeah. I, I think we we think we're all in agreement, but I think we, uh, Colin mm -hmm. validly points out that there are some edge cases that are not mm -hmm. kind of properly uh, documented in the draft today. Okay. Um, yeah. And or sometimes the the terminology in the draft is a little bit like strict for lack of a better. It's it's or maybe just imprecise. Actually, okay. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Ian, do you have what you need to move forward on this PR? Yes, I do. And um, okay, people should review um, both five nine three and five eight nine if they have not already, um, and leave any remaining comments. And I will try to clean them up and land them soonish. Okay. Before next um, week, but if we can. All right, let's move on to this priority clarification thing that we've tabled from Boston. Um, do you think it's worthwhile to like do, give a very quick summary of Victor's proposal before we dump, jump into Allen's? Um, yeah, Victor, why don't you, would you mind do, doing that for me? Uh, we could just call up the PR, I guess, or, or not, whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, I could do that. Thank you. Mm. I thought there was a very succinct, like four bullet thing on what he proposed. Yeah, it's roughly first subscriber priorities and publisher priorities and group order. Uh, and publisher priority is what? And publisher priority is uh, assigned per subgroup. Oh, sorry. Um... Sorry, the comments are, oh geez, okay. Um, I did recently it? discover there's a way to hide the comments in a PR. That's what I was gonna say, like, okay. Ah. Check that first thing, yeah. Cool. All right, this will be easier. Okay, there you go. That's it. All right, should we just take like 30 seconds to read that? I will let other people read. Okay, so the the crux of this is that publish priority trumps group order and other stuff. So I might be going in group order, like sending group order, but there's this thing in the last group, you know, groups one through 10, I have all queued up, but group 10 has an object that's super high priority. I'm gonna send it even though previous groups are still in flight. Is that accurate, Victor? Correct. Okay, modulo subscriber priority. Subscriber priority rules all. But yes, it, the, um, yeah, Victor's proposal resolves the group um, object slash peep priority in favor of object slash peep priority wins. I, okay. Are yeah. there clarifying questions about Victor's proposal? Um, should I go to Alan's? Yeah. yeah. Which is an issue, not a PR, I believe. Oh, geez. It's 585. Uh, 585? Ah. Yeah, there it is. Thank you. Okay, so I think if I were going to highlight the contrast with Victor's, there's two elements that I would do. One of them is that it assumes that the group order that's been resolved between what the, the subscriber asked for and what the publisher asked for is more like 
it's more important than peep priority. And that because peeps are scoped to groups, peep priorities are also scoped to the group in which they are. So you use that priority field to say within this group, peep A is more important than peep B, not to say the data in this group should somehow go. I, I told you I wanted groups in ascending order. I exactly the case that I think Martin just highlighted, which is like I said I wanted things in ascending order. I've got groups one through ten queued up. Like that group eleven wanted to say that like the audio or whatever, some 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 peep is suddenly like has a higher relative priority should not cause it to jump that like group ordering. Like I think that is the so it's like it's it's two things. It's reducing reducing the scope of the priority to only within group. It is like L, like using that group order, particularly because it is a subscriber signal. The subscriber told you they wanted it, just like their priority. They said that I wanted things in ascending order. So it does not you cannot un ascend the or you can't you can't reorder the groups. And then in order to like make up for that, it adds this additional signal that allows you to specify like specify the publishers priority of one track versus another track which today it, in the existing text is done by this crazy like min of all the queued objects for a track and in victor's priority you pick the track by the highest peak priority i think so anyway i think it's right i, I um, mean I guess it's been a while since i wrote this and it's even longer since i read victor's thing so it's a little bit can i just ask a clarifying question alan absolutely uh, the um you have in your write-up you talk about object priority um what's what's that a little bit like I, that is I okay object yeah. priority is what is the priority field that is in an in a canonical object which is carried in a in the p header today right yep mo Wait, wait, Colin looks like he has more clarifying oh. questions on clarifying questions. I, so, so, is that the same? Is that the same as publisher priority? That is where the yeah. publisher priority. That is the only place in the current draft where the publisher priority is specified. Right. My okay. proposal offers two ways: one to set the priority of a track relative to other tracks, and another one to set the priority of peeps within a subgroup. I, Sorry, I subgroups that. within group. I want to um, add a clarifying example that I think might be helpful just for everyone's like mental model. I, and, and then I'll let Mo go, which is if you had a base layer and an enhancement layer, and you had, you know, say like three, you know, uh, groups that were available. In Alan's proposal, you would send base layer, enhancement layer, base layer, enhancement layer, base layer, enhancement layer. In Victor's proposal, you would send all the base layers and then all the enhancement layers in that order. Okay, I, I want to. I've, I've been thinking about that example too. So, in this, in the case you're, you're saying, in the case where the subscriber asked for group order ascending, that's true. But if you're saying, if you had asked for a descending, then like that may not have been what happens. Like, I, I like, but I think yes. With like, if the if they ask for group order ascending, we will never send you information from later groups when there is information from older groups that could be sent. And you can always time them out if you don't want them. But at least okay. as far as prioritization goes, it's like lockstep per group. I think Mo was was next at some point. Mo, do you want to? Yeah. Go? Alan, can you clarify? Are you are you trying to suggest a sub priority for the subgroup that's slave to the actual? To the group priority is that the concept that you're trying to go for a sub priority for some i mean i think that the algorithm like tries to describe it right like so you think about like look, look, the, the way in which it's different is the, the the publisher can set the priority of subscriptions like this like i know that that and for example let's take multiple uh resolutions right and it's like i know that i want this track is low resolution and i want it always to be higher priori priority priority right. then this other track which is low resolution and there's a field to set that kind of high level priority the subscriber and the publisher both do the same group ordering dance that they do today where the subscriber can say ascending descending or i don't care and the publisher in in the don't care case gets to gets to pick one then what the priority field is for is for setting the priority of subgroups within each group of a track. 
there are, sorry so there, i mean so there's th there's three priority knobs that the publisher gets the publish the priority of the subscription the order they would like to send the groups in and within each group the relative importance of each subgroup Uh, yeah, that's what I was calling a sub priority. Yes. Yeah, so okay. You, you you want you don't want that sub priority to ever actually be in the absolute space of everything else, so that it can override anything else. You want it always to be subjected to the overall to, to the group priority, never trumping it. To the group, that is correct. The, that yeah. like the it, the prior that lowest level priority is only for ordering peeps within a group because yeah. peeps are scoped to a group, and it's never there's never an option to reorder groups if that's what we want then t textually i would describe that as a sub priority for a subgroup okay uh, alan I, I have three clarifying questions so the publisher subscription priority is a original publisher immutable property or it's not immutable else? um uh if you look down at the like wire format if you scroll down there's like basically that you could change it say with like special object um in the track which is like okay I, i've changed my mind and this whole track is now elevated in priority um, well, uh, I'm sorry, by mutable, like relays can't change it. Of course not. Relays can't change any priorities, can okay, they? Okay, well, it's not context dependent on, okay, great. Uh, so is this communicated via subscribe okay, or something else? Um, I think it's communicated, if I, I, again, scroll down to the bottom, I think I said what it does. Ian needs to scroll. Uh, subscribe okay contains a field. Okay. And there are one or more messages to change it. Um, I think the first one is the one I like the best, which is like you send an object status that is like b between 100 and one and one FF, and the last eight bits are the okay. Got it. <laughs> and so just so if I understand the implication, so like one difference from this versus the status quo, which is I agree is un un unimplementable, is that if group ten, if you have groups one through ten, and ten is like high priority, and group one is like least effort for whatever reason that until group one times out, group 10 is gonna be sort of blocked in the priority queue, even though it's of high priority. It, I mean, I think that the way to think about it is in this proposal, that's not like, you can prioritize the track that you want. You can say the order of the information you want in that track, right? And then yep. priorities is like how stuff within the group like will get delivered. Yeah. And if you don't like if 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 the behavior you want, like if you're talking about this enhancement layer case where every group has two, a base and an enhancement, you, you, the the way you're gonna get rid of old enhancement layers is by setting timeouts. So those old group ones will time out and like you'll move on. Okay, so in the case where like starting group 10, Alan's talking, so now he's high priority. Uh, like the right way to do that is just like reset groups one through nine. Okay, I have never built a conferencing system and we keep like talking about this active speaker thing. So like, I don't know that I can speak with authority about how you actually want that to work and whether you only want my new speech, like you want my new words before my old words when I start talking or do you want all my words? And I, I don't understand like that particular guess. I don't think it's a great example or I can't speak with authority about like okay. the right way to do it. But if you as a publisher know suddenly like, track a is now more important than track b you can change its priority but it, if they had asked for it in ascending order it is a retroactive prioritization which means like any queued data mm. will be sent at that priority. which is also how the existing text is written right as soon as that new high priority object arrives because that lowers the or raises the max priority published priority of every all the data in that track it elevates the entire track agree. Right yeah later. yeah i agree that's the status quo i'm wondering if we're losing i mean this, I, I, I don't, I've never built a conference this thing either, <laughs> but um, that struck me as a uh, like a reasonable use case that I, I hope we're not losing here. And, and I'm not saying you can't achieve it with what you've built here. It's just, I'm uh, just asking. Thanks. Yeah. Collins Colin. next. Yep. You're muted, You're Colin. Muted. I keep hitting the hands down button. So I'll, I'll come for just a second on conference service, but then I'll ask my question. So, I mean, you know, if your overall latency on your conference server is such that is so long that your your active speaker switches are like 
are, are causing this much delay in the, you know if you can notice it on your active if you have that much delay you probably have much bigger problems i'm not sure that's a really a use case that really comes up um and one thing to keep in mind is you know the the conference systems are 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 mixing like yeah, there might be one person that's called the active speaker that you display their video as the active speaker, but they're almost certainly miss, mixing three to five or even more active speakers um, so that you don't have weird voice issues as you move between them. Um, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know, we could walk through it in more detail, but I, I don't know, I'm not really wound up about that. Um, but one thing that, what, that was, Alan, that I wanted to sort of maybe you could walk me through here is for sort of the common use case of, you know, sort of the ABR, uh, we, we've got a high bit rate stream and a low bit rate stream. And like, it's, I, I always want my low bit, I want all the groups on my, I don't want any of the groups of my um, high band or my high bit rate stream to be delivered until all of my groups of the low bit bit with stream have, have been delivered. I mean, that seems a pretty common use case. Um, can we, do that in this proposal and assume Absolutely. You, so yeah so the, like yeah. the what you're talking about is like that's what you do the publisher subscription priority for so like i see you, you subscribe so that's to the rate you're, that's going to be the highest level and the next one in the chain in the ladder would be lower priority than that and so like that and that is always the highest order bit you pick which tr which track you're going to send from if i've got high priority track data that's going out i see so that's exactly the same as victor's so steps one and two in yours are the same in fact, even steps one, two, and three are the same in yours as Victor's, right? I think the difference no. is that, yeah, like, and maybe, or maybe Victor, you're maybe in a better position to, to comment how it's different. Uh, I, I mean, as far as I understand, I was proposal of there was one priority per track, and then my prior in my proposal is a priority applies per subgroup. I see. Yeah, I mean, I think in some ways I've, that's where it may be easier to accomplish what you're saying, Colin, where like with mine, where it's like there's just if, if you're really just trying to set the priority of the entire track, it, it, it's there's only one where there's one place to do it. there's one number that controls that. And that in terms of like the knobs we're giving to application developers, it's very easy to know what to do. Or if you're like suddenly, I don't know, they whatever for whatever reason they like change it changes like there's one knob to change versus if every subgroup is sort of like it's individual it has its priority and it's going out first of all we only have eight bits and we have may, we have may have many more subgroups than that over the life of a track and so like using priority may be more complicated in that way i don't know it just sort of seems like you know you said it when you said it when you send it and that's fine and you don't have to worry about the idea that change I, anyway i guess i don't I, I guess what really comes down to is like I, okay i see how the, i see how that use case would work in this one i don't really understand what the uh, i get victors and it seems to meet all the use cases i can think of and i'm trying to understand what's the use case that adds this additional complexity that we need that we don't get in victors that's what i'm get, trying to get my head around <laughs> okay so i for me it's I, I hadn't thought about it as complexity, but I, I think maybe I can see that description. The way I view it is more like, I mean, I guess the question is like, what are we prioritizing? If if we think what we're prioritizing is the streams, right? The subgroups, then Victor's makes more sense. And if we think people are gonna be setting priorities based on what the subgroups are, then that should be the highest order thing. But if you read at least the existing draft, it does like it starts with prioritizing tracks, and then it goes to prioritizing groups, and then it goes to prioritizing like objects or like subgroups, right? So, I was going with like the existing model is like the one we wanted to preserve. But if it's not what we want to do, then like I think Victor's is simpler, right? I mean, it's more like the HTTP HTTP, HTTP model, or it's just like everything's in a stream, and like you set your priorities in your stream, and there you go, like you'll get what you get. Like it's way easier, it's simpler, easier to implement. I mean, I, I sort of think of it as we're prioritizing data, like like the data inside the object, uh, you know, on each object thing, except we just have some constraints on how often you can change that, like at you can change it at the subgroup level or whatever that, that allow us to do more efficient delivery. Um, are, are the people in the queue um, asking clarifying questions? Sorry, I'm off of that. Nope. No? Nope. Okay. Uh, can, can we like, all right, so I got Mo, Victor, and Ian in the queue. Can you put your hands down for a second? I'd like to sort of take the temperature of the group in our, we have 10 minutes to kind of see where we're at. Uh, just let's do a quick show of hands. Like who, who like is interested in this topic and needs to hear more discussion about it to know how they feel about it? 
or do you kind of like have a strong preference now? Yes and raise, no. Raise your hand if you want to hear a bunch more discussion about this. Uh, you use the use the use the meat thing. Don't actually raise your hand, Mike. Okay, that's one. All right, can we? Do, would my co-chairs mind if we did a quick poll on like if if people are like, oh gosh, Alan's thing sucks or like Victor's thing sucks? <laughs> or if there's like a strong preference right now? Okay, I guess they're okay. All right. Raise your hand if you like Victor's thing more. Three. Okay. Hands down, please. Raise your hand if you like Alan's thing more. Since Victor raised his hand for his, I guess I had to raise for mine. Okay, so we're kind of split. Um, a lot can, of people don't really care. Um, All right. Can, yeah, can yes, I sir. add a third option for myself yeah. at least? Yeah. I, I would like either of them more than the status quo. But I don't really have a, like, yeah. I'm, you can convince me that either is the right approach and I'm fine with it, but like the status quo is not great. No, no, I, I agree with you do something. Okay. We, can't, we can't even agree what the text says. And that seems like a real problem. <laughs> okay. So as long as you do something, I'm happy. I don't okay. want the do nothing option. The do nothing right. option is terrible. Okay. I, I, I think at this point. Comment? Can I add a clarifying comment that may make people, may make more people care? Because it seems yeah. you get a lot of abstains or don't know or don't care. Yeah. And I think people don't realize what the real issue is. And maybe couching it in the active speaker thing is not the best. If you just look at, you know, if you had a bunch of videos, you know, tiled on your screen and the user clicked one of the videos to make it more prominent, right? If there's congestion and there's old data, do you want the old data of that prominent video or do you only want the new data of that prominent video? That's, what, that's when the prioritization change happens. Do you care about elevating the whole track like Alan is saying, which would prioritize the old data for that user, for that new, newly prominent square? Or do you only want to make the new data for that prominent user have the new priority? I think that's that's the more relatable scenario than active speaker switching. Okay, so it's, it's clear we need to have a little more discussion. Mo, is that what you wanted to say when you entered the key or do you have more? That's all. Okay, thank you. Victor. And Ian, I know you're next in the queue after that. Oh, uh, I just wanted to say, that, like, my main reason this I care is uh, I think SVC doesn't actually work in this proposal, in Alan's proposal. And if you think carefully about it, uh, I don't think there is even any point of having subgroups if you cannot prioritize subgroups across tracks. Just Okay, like there, you might still get some value from prioritizing uh, subgroups within a single group, but fundamentally, like uh, priorities only matter if you uh, uh, are encountering congestion and can deliver all of it. And if you're encountering congestion, what you want is you want to drop the most expensive layer first, and you don't really care how far ahead that layer is. Ian, I'm, I'm. I'm internalizing what Victor's saying, and now I'm actually starting. If you had two streams, which both had enhancement layers, and they were both equally important, you would want the 15 frames a second for both more than you would want to get like all the data from one, and then or some like the highest priority thing would be to just get like some visible video from both. I think. I think is that kind of what you're saying, Victor? Yeah, I was kind of saying like what you really want is like the more important subgroups are more important regardless whether they're earlier or later. And that's like just feels natural to me. Okay. okay. I, I mean, so let me I, I would say like if what we're gonna if we want if we're gonna change the model from because it, the Seattle model that's in there is like the first thing you prioritize is tracks, and the next thing you do is groups, and the next thing you do is objects. And we're turning that model on its head to Forget all of that. What you prioritize is subgroups. And like, then number one, I think priority is too small. Like eight bits isn't gonna work anymore. Like, because you could have many more subgroups in flight. And also these subgroup numbers are now like, also because they are meant to express many different things. Like you're not just, 
the, the number of things you're prioritizing against, prioritizing against is much larger. It's now the entire global space of all subgroups from all tracks that are being sent concurrently. So if, if we're going to go with Victor's way, we need to make priority larger. And I, I'd say my one reservation about this is that like this may make sense, but I'm very worried that it's going that we're I, that the API knob we're giving to people about how to prioritize stuff they won't necessarily understand how to use it effectively. And that was like the doom of HTTP two priority. It was like we like the, they created a nifty system that like it was impossible to like actually for people to understand what they were doing. No, I think. If I recall correctly, the reason why we decided uh, in that interim to have the priority of the of the track get elevated was because that was the only way somebody could uh, retroactively uh, change the priority of a track. Uh, so we wanted a publisher to be able to say, "I'm changing the priority," and that affects things. You can't change what you've already sent, you know, because it's already on the wire or it's already in further relays. But now you can change it by algorithm because the new objects that have the new tag now all of a sudden elevate all the other previous objects that you sent wrong. I'll just note that Victor's proposal doesn't have a way, I think, to change priority of a subgroup one sent, but you can use the proposal from mine to fix that if you want to. But otherwise, yeah, you can't retroact. I don't know if they, is it a use case we want to support? I don't know, but like retro retroactive prioritization by the publisher is a feature of mine. Thanks, Mike. Um, all right, we're, well, shoot. Uh, I'm trying to think about how to implement. I mean, I think Alan's thing is pretty easy to implement. Like, you just got essentially as a like a, at the session layer, you just have a list of tracks that you're scheduling, and then like inside the track machinery, you can figure out what to send next. Um, Victor seems a little more complicated because the session level you have to kind of keep track of each. Like there, there's each track has like when you keep you keep the data you keep at each track has like a like a queue for each priority level that you have to pop from and so you would pick obviously the highest priority first. Uh, it's not undoable. It seems a little more complicated. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop talking because we're running out of time and I'm gonna close the queue soon. But Mike, yeah, um, I just wanted to say I. I prefer Ellen's mainly because the hierarchy is preserved. It's a little bit easier to reason about rather than uh, the subgroups kind of escaping and coming up to this this top level. I can understand the motivation for that, um, but I do think it, it gets hairy to reason about and know how to do, especially with only eight bits. Um, and also the active speaker issue that originally motivated things like like Ma was saying, wanting to change things at the track level. I tried to reason this out and it gets really hairy to do it. It applies at kind of the group boundaries. Um, and uh, I don't see an easy way to, to do what you actually want to do um, with that. So I, I think this needs more discussion. Okay, I'm closing the queue. Uh, Victor, go ahead, be, be brief, please. Yeah, I, I think like the key idea behind what I'm proposing is uh, there, you fundamentally you're assigning priorities to data and subgroups is like the smallest thing you can assign data because once you put this something in some groups, things go in order. Uh, and I, I think I like that idea because it is the most flexible and it lets you do whatever you want. And the only reason there is any hierarchy is because we let subscriber to override priorities on the highest, on the smallest levels a subscriber can, which is entire track, because it's the smallest units subscriber can reason about. So, uh, the, and I think it's actually really easy to implement because you directly map priorities to streams. Colin, qu quickly, please. Uh, uh, I, I, I like Victor's a lot in that I think it's a dramatic improvement over what we have now and would, would love to see that move forward. But with Alan's, I just don't feel like understand it well enough. I might like it if I understood it better. Uh, things I don't understand, it seems like on the complexity that at the lower level, the prioritizations, the sub things you have, 
to do all the things that Victor's does anyway. So I don't see the difference in reducing the complexity. If it removes those, then I have a problem with it, but it doesn't seem to, so I don't quite understand. And I don't understand the, number, the comments people have about like not enough bits of priority for these two. I'm just clearly not thinking about it the same way. So I feel like before I could really make a strong statement that like, no, I feel Victor's is better, like whether Allen's is better or worse than Victor's, I need to understand Allen's much better than I currently do. That's fair. Ian, quickly. You're muted. Do people want to see a PR from Alan? Would that be helpful or not? I, like, because Victor has a PR. I'm just comparatively. Yes, no, not really. I mean, if, if people read this ish, this long thing that Alan wrote, and are, are people who are confused because they haven't read it or because they need more detail than what's in this text? But like Colin, have you read this? Um, I'm, I've read all of it in inside out multiple so on, on two different okay. occasions. Um, but okay, I, fair I enough. So, like, so you need more. All right. You know, if I could have anything, if I had a wish list, Alan would have a PR that sat on top of Victor's that showed how it changed Victor's. Like that would be my like you know icing on the cake. Well, you, you need someone to better get up food with me. Um, all right. Uh, okay. So I, I, we're clearly not going to resolve this today. Um, is there an offline path to resolving this, or do we need to just give it agenda time and in. So, okay, I hear Colin saying he wants, like, probably it's going to take FaceTime. Okay. If, if, because I feel like this is some of my best writing. So, like, <laughs> it's not going to get through in written form. Uh, so, I'll see you in Dublin, Colin, I assume. <laughs> Just, like, grab you and, like, talk through I'm it. I'm nominating you for literary award, Alan. Um, 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 is there anybody else who needs more explanation in that way that would make more sense to them? Did I hear no one object to victor's is better than the current text so let's just merge that and then let alan add his as gravy and we can decide yes or no on that i'm fine that um does anyone think the current text is better than either of these two i don't think so i i, I think my biggest concern with that is that that my proposal is a little bit more similar to the current text direction versus victor seems like a bigger departure to, so like it, on, on the other hand victor's has no wire format changes but yours does I'm just saying. Um, so, like, I would say that, um, like, I, I, I think that point will come where we just need to commit something. Uh, I don't think that 10 minutes in a virtual is necessarily that threshold. Um, all right. So it sounds like Alan's going to write a PR. Um, and uh, and I think that maybe slides too. If we, I mean, well, think so, about so how you present this in a reasonable way to other people. I think that's what maybe um, bring it. Right. Maybe maybe let me start by like maybe I'll maybe. schedule some time with Victor. Victor, are you gonna be in Dublin? I'm not physically in Dublin. No, okay. I'll just schedule some time before I go then and then see if you and I can work out our differences and then either come up with a combined proposal or one of us change the other's mind. And sure, then we'll yeah. Then move forward. Time, but yeah. Yeah, we'll move forward from there. Okay. And and us chairs will uh will um put this in the queue consideration queue for, for Dublin agenda time. And uh, we'll see where that emerges. Did, did everyone who wants agenda time send in a request to the chairs already? If you want agenda time and you didn't send us an email, as soon as this call ends, you send the email. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. We're way over time. Thanks, yeah, everyone. But I still have one question for the notes. What yeah. was the kind of conclusion on the actual 589 PR? What's 589? Uh, the uh, Finn reset stream. If, we did, yeah, uh, the editor we, has it, and I think he's uh, he's going to. I mean, he, he's going to merge it once he's happy with it. And if, okay. if if somebody has an issue, like they should uh, do, like file it immediately <laughs> or okay. come in immediately if they yeah. have a problem. I would encourage people to review that PR and the uh, associated PR in the next day or so, and I will probably merge it Friday, Saturday, -ish, something like okay. that. But okay. um, please try to review it sooner, so that way I can respond to any comments. Uh, and if you want to object loudly, then you know now ish is the time. Yeah, we do not have a call next week, so we will see you all in Dublin. Bye, everybody. <laughs>